In the energy quadrant today, taking a look at the December natural gas contract, which was down over 7% on the lows, finished the day down six and a half percent, but on the lows down 7.45 percent, five spot 736 was the low in that December contract. Worst down day since October 18th. Obviously that's not that long ago. October 18th, we were down seven and three quarter percent on settlement. We actually had a day in early October where we were down over 10% in a day, but it's still the first up week in the last four is intact. Still up a little bit below 10% on the week. On the high side of things, we were over six bucks, six spot 206. That was only up about 13 basis points, so just short of two tenths of 1%. As I mentioned, we finished the day down about six and a half percent. Now, we'll take you a look at domestic weather, which is obviously the biggest factor in domestic natural gas demand. Demand should be light for the rest of this week. Moving up to moderate next week. One weather system with showers is going to stretch from the Midwest to the Southeast, while a new system tracks into the Northwest, but both systems are rather mild in terms of temperatures. Highs from the 50s to the 80s, so no real demand coming from that. The rest of the U.S. will be comfortable with highs from the 60s to the 80s during this period of time, but national demand will increase next week into sort of a moderate phase as a cold front with rain, snow, and lows of 15 degrees Fahrenheit to 30 degrees Fahrenheit will track across the Midwest. That'll include lows in the 30s, uh, I'm sorry, lows below the 30s, dropping down from the plains and in the high 30s down in North Texas. So that'll bump up demand a little bit. And then when you look at the EIA report that came out this morning, weekly natural gas storage report printed a build of 87 billion cubic feet in line with market expectations, but quite a bit larger than the five-year average for this time of year of 62 billion cubic feet. This increased the supplies to 3.548 trillion cubic feet and improved deficits to 126 billion cubic feet versus the five-year average. At least that part is good news considering the cold front that's also expected to hit Europe at this time of year.